The following is a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about them, Cowboys? Yeah! Go Cowboys! Blowing out of the backfield, exploding down the sideline. This is Hanging with the Boys, presented by Wingstop, where flavor gets its wings. Now, your hosts, Nate Newton, Kurt Daniels, Jesse Holly, and Shannon Gross. Thursday? Yes! Thursday! Man, Man, I can't keep this together. Welcome to the show. Looking live at a very October festive-ish looking plaza outside Ford Center at the Star in Frisco, Texas. Where it's 88 degrees, the high is 91, the low is 69. Hey! This is my boy, Kirk. That is Shannon. He is Nate in the back. Chris Beam is keeping us up live and local. I am Salt and Pepper Poppy. Together, we make Hanging with the Boys, the sports talk equivalent of Braille. People feel us. Feel us, man. Feel us, bro. See that? When we speak. (laughs) Brought to you each and every day by Wingstop, where flavor gets its wings. wings. Tomorrow, Wingstop Friday, fellas. Oh, tomorrow, yeah. Wingstop Friday. Texas will remind us because you, you, you know we can't keep schedules. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'll text you in the morning. Texas, what's going on with Oktoberfest out on the plaza? Is that this weekend? I get, guess so. Get your drink that on. Look, look it up on the uh, Star mm-hmm. District website there. Well, it's always got to be. Get, look at one of those reads on, that has it on the drink on. Reads in there. Get Mine always got to be that. Get Why can't we just on. get something else on? Get your drink on. Oh, yeah. I don't know. We can. Let's get it on. Let's get your freak on. Get your freak on. Get your freak on. Get your freak on. Right. How we doing? Frisco, October first. Yeah, 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 yeah. You think you can? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You Jesse got that real? No, 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 no. Do you think Kurt can dance? He probably can sway. You, you know, know what? He, he's like a, a concert guy. guy. No, concert guy, you know, they sway. The sway yeah, going yeah, on? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell, tell you what Kurt can do that would really surprise you. What's that? B may have been there. He can sing. Karaoke. Sing for us, man. <laughs> no. He sing sang. No. You know that song? New York. Remember that song, uh, Cult of Personality by... Uh, you made me do that. Uh, I was really... In Living Color. Not the lot. show, but the band. Yeah. I was hoping uh, you'd forgot that, dude. He can, <laughs> he can wail. Was that L.A. or New York? That was New York. New York. New York. The karaoke bar career. we went to on our retreat. He can wail, man. I was like, whoa! Give him the mic again. <laughs> oh, see, yeah. Kurt got all them hidden talents, yeah, man. Yeah, he's sneaky. No, man, he's sneaky. He's potent. Five kids that do that to you. Hey, three pumps is good. Yes. How we feeling? We didn't check minerals and dentals yesterday. We got so caught up in. Everything else, how we doing? We good. good. We good? Yeah, everything's good, good, man. Everything's Wing stop good. Friday tomorrow. Yes. Are oh, we getting some boneless so I can eat them on the air? I just They get all over me, man. All right, man. I'll, I'll, I'll try. Like you just stick I'll the try, fork man. in it and just. I'll try, man. man. I'll, I'll just the way they grow up. Grow up, I, man. But grow have up. You see, have you seen me eat wings? Grow up, man. I get it, it from my the, fingertips yeah. to my elbows, and then it gets all in my You're beard. from Louisiana, bro. Now that I got long hair, I'm Bro, you from Louisiana, man. I know. I'll get like, down there. You, I, like, eat, I eat some saying, nasty like, like, stuff. Yes, you from Louisiana. I eat some nasty <laughs> bro, if, if stuff, you, bro. If you can work your way through crawfish, bro, you can work your way through I'll wings. I'll work my way through worse, yeah. believe me. You ain't the only one that has hit up trailer parks. Believe me, my man. Believe me. <laughs> Out of them 17 moves, man, how many were in the trailer parks? I never lived in a trailer. How about you fix okay. it, man? Okay. Was that Chris? That's my bad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you all said there was no big deal bringing a helicopter into this place. No. Oh man, it has been all over Shook TV. Up, did, we call, KJ uh, did we call? Did we cause yeah. that? <laughs> did our little segment no. cause that? One of the writers did. Probably no. Todd Archer. Oh, no, it was already out there. Yeah, it was Archer. out there big time. Yeah. I, 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 well, well, not not tonight, baby. You go to sing it to her. Oh, you know. It. I don't know if he can sing like that. <laughs> yeah. <But he> was, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not. You know, I'm not Marvin Gaye over here. Anyway. <laughs> you're not. A, you're not a serenader. You're a wailer. Did you sing any band growing up or anything? No, no. no? I only sing when I've had a few too many. You had them. okay. You sang a lot that night. <laughs> you were singing. All right, fellas. Will we see any changes in the scheme with Micah and Demarcus out, or is it just 
plug and play. Here's it. Here it is. You know, we talk about coaches. Some coaches adapt, and some coaches just go, "This is what we do. This is what we're doing. Get in there and do it." Or do you think it'll be like, okay, we got to figure out ways to get creative and, and help these these new guys? What do you What do you expect to see? Any Any new wrinkles, or is it just here? It is. Go do it. Next man up. See, I. I I've been so direct these last few days. We like we like direct Nate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we really like we really direct. Like direct <laughs> Micah is not there. You dummy. Yeah, we like direct Nate. My Micah is not there. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Micah is gone. It ain't no more Micah. KJ Henry would never be Micah. Mm-hmm. So do you keep everything else the same or you gotta do something different to make up for Yeah, you just line up, you, you know, grab up. grass. Hold on tight. Is grab grass a new term? No, no, no it's always old school. That's old school. I know, school. but I've never heard him use it until this this this, this season. Yeah. Well, the thing about it because we was getting rolled out of that. You saw it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we it's been so long since we had a guy blocked. You never had to use just it. Turn his back on the whole. You know, turn his back on the whole team. Not only their team, but our team too. <laughs> um, I think for for Mike McCarthy, you got to keep it as basic as you possibly can. You know, one of the things that when you have a guy like Michael Parsons, he's a um, he's a force multiplier, right? Like he can create when there is no room to create. Mm-hmm. Like he has that ability, and when you lose that, you you now have to kind of go back to just the fundamentals of what you do, because there is no one else on this roster on a consistent basis that can create their own one-on-one and win it. Right. Right? And so I think for the most part now, like if there's ever been a time that there needs to be details, it's right now. It's 11 guys to the football. It's everybody be where they're supposed to be because we don't have a athlete or athletes out there that can make up for a bad play. I know that – I know Overshone is a guy who has a lot of juice, but I don't think he has the – overall experience uh, to being able to make up yeah. uh, uh, you know to make up the errors of the ways of of, 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 of the lack thereof that mm-hmm. you have in that defensive line so for, for my thought process would be <clears throat> Mike is talking to the guys and he's like you know hey we may bring a pressure every now and again but for the most part we to use the Nate Newton term, we we going man, we gonna man our gaps, we're gonna do what we gotta do, we're gonna grab grass mm-hmm. and we're gonna play, we're gonna, because you're facing a guy where you need discipline. Yeah. The way that 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 the uh, Steelers deploy Justin Fields, he gonna run the football. There's gonna be a lot of RPO that get that get thrown into this thing. There's gonna be a lot of him rolling and moving that pocket, getting him on the edge. And you know, like Lamar Jackson, he gets he gets an angle on you. Right. How I've wondered this watching a really good RPO quarterback. Cause that is it easier? Cause on TV it looks hard as hell to know when to pull it. Mm. You reading the defensive end, mm. right? You reading but, the defensive end, but it, on TV it looks like it happens too fast to know when to leave it or when to when to take it, right? Mm. Let, let me say this right here. I know there's no you, there's no easy way to say it. You try like, you, you, you try to I go caught, back. You I try to go myself. back to the. You went back to the scene of the crime and thought you was gonna find another way to get out of this thing, only to dig yourself into a deeper hole. Thank you for helping me out. Yeah. My, no, I'm, 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 I'm finna I'm finna help you. Everybody can't do. It's only for me. Even with Dak, it, who when he was much younger, wasn't good at this is good Lamar is exceptional mm-hmm. this kid feels is exceptional because they got raw speed and so their hand eye foot coordination all they're looking for you basically if you look in there at that, at that, at that dive if you just look in there a lot of time they they got the the, the athletic ability to use you right so but if you take a step and turn just slightly they gone they pulling it out you can see on film, and I heard Broadus say this, Brian Broadus, where a couple of times he looked at the end, and I'm talking about this kid we finna play fields. Mm-hmm. He's looked, 
and still handed it off to uh, Cardell or either uh, Najee. And he was like, ah, oh, ah. Oh. So Brian thinking, like, this game here, if they pull that, mm. he going to pull it out because of what he saw Lamar. It's some guys are just so ultra-athletic, and they've been doing this since high school. To You give them anything, they go. So it's almost instinctual. Like it's, yeah. Because to me, you look at it, it's like, how did he know to not do And it's like most – Nine out of ten times they make the right decision, right? Every once in a while they yeah. do what they're not supposed to. But it's and it's so bang bang in real time. Like I'm just like, how in the hell do you have the ability? So I guess, like you said, you've been doing it since high school oh, running that man. offense. It's it's almost like it's secondary because you feel it. What's hard for Lamar and what's hard for Fields, even harder for Fields. Lamar is getting better. You can see him, you know, physically getting better. Is when they got to read a pre-reader coverage, then then go through it, you know, with that coverage. Now they, it may mess them up a little bit, but Lamar is getting much better, and this kid is learning because I mean you've seen the film; they got him throwing outside the numbers this year, but everything is quick, quick to the sticks. But they ain't got him throwing long, and they don't want him throwing long, and they don't want him. Have to say, well, he have to spray this thing down. One, two, okay, back over here to three. They don't want him. One, one and a half, bye. Uh, is a, is a, no, you're absolutely and see, right. And, and I, it ain't like I'm, you know, I listen to Broadus, I listen to y'all, I listen to all you guys that know it, you know, what you're looking at. And I can go look and say, oh, yeah, okay, I see what y'all are talking about. And you can see on the film, like, yeah. And this kid, and another thing that I think this kid is in his mind is, I ain't just finna get his job back to this dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm not finna make these mistakes. Mm. When you got true competition, like he had no competition with the Bears. So eight interceptions in a game, okay, so what? Two interceptions, you you gonna hit that pine, bro. You may get they may give you one, but you hit two, hey, hey man, get in the bullpen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So how, how do they defend those quick passes then? Are they playing up or are they I mean, what's what's the key to stopping those? It, it, defensively, it has to look very similar from the Cowboys defensively and the Steelers defensively. For example, the Steelers defensively, they're, they trust that their front four is going to give them the push and the 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 pressure that they uh, that they need. And and with Cam, of course, Cam Hayward, and of course you got. T.J. Watt, you've you've been getting that. They they really rely just on their front four of being able to do it, and um, the Cowboys will have to be very similar because behind that Pittsburgh plays coverage. They're gonna play cover three. They're gonna play uh, quarters. They're gonna play all. These, What's up, y'all? What's, kids don't go to school no more. Kids just don't never. <laughs> and, and kids you know, don't go to school and, no and, more. You know they Every time out. we come through here, oh, we homeschooling. They ain't bit more homeschooling, man. Kids, you know, <laughs> kids not go to school anymore. All right. Um, we had a tour walk by. That's yeah. that's where the squirrel moment came from. <laughs> and so behind that, what what Pittsburgh wants to do? Uh, P- Pittsburgh is going to play that shell coverage. They're going to say we're going to keep everything in front of us. Rally, tackle. And the Cowboys have to be, have the same approach. And for Justin Fields, they don't want him having to, to make multiple reads. They want him to make simple and quick reads. They do a lot of 13 personnel. Uh, they roll the pocket. Because when they roll the pocket, now what they have to do is, you have to do defensively, you got to make a decision. Okay? Either you're going to get that quick throw, or I'm turning the corner. Yeah. And if I turn the corner... I'm going to get what I'm going to get, and they're not, you're going to be able to do to stop me. So when you talk about Cowboys being disciplined, got to hold that edge. Because if he gets outside that pocket, he's tucking in and running. And that's going to be six, seven, eight yards. And if he picks up a block or two, 12, 15 yards. If he breaks a tackle or two, he's going to hit his head in the goalpost. <laughs> All right, let's take our first break. When we come back, more Cowboys defense and a little bit of Pittsburgh offense when we return. Don't hang with the boys. And I'll tell you about 7-Eleven after the break. 
How's Wingstop sound? Crispy, juicy, classic wings. Sauced and tossed in those 11 soul-satisfying flavors. Paired with hand-cut seasoned fries, house-made honey mustard, blue cheese, or signature Wingstop ranch. I think you've heard enough. Get your flavor delivered at Wingstop.com. This is Nate Newton from Hanging with the Boys. And Wingstop is here to bring the flavor to game day as the official wings of the Dallas Cowboys. Order now by downloading the Wingstop app or ordering online at Wingstop.com. Hey. Hey, Cowboys fans, a 2024 football season is here, and SeatGeek is here to help you experience all the action. SeatGeek makes it easy to find tickets so you can be a part of all the touchdown celebrations this season. Whether you're buying or selling tickets to Cowboys football games or to any other live event, SeatGeek is the place to do it. SeatGeek is the official primary ticketing partner of the Dallas Cowboys. The most disruptive idea in ticketing? A ticket that works. Expect the expected. SeatGeek. Hey, Cowboy fans, I'm Dak Prescott, quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. But lately, I've been learning a new game, crypto. Sound confusing? Don't worry. Even us pros were rookies in crypto once. That's why I trust Blockchain.com. They make crypto easy. No confusing jargon, just the tools to help you win. Prescott keeps it, slides with a first down. Invest like your icons, where everyone is a rookie in crypto with blockchain.com perfect throw my goodness wow did he ever thread the needle visit blockchain.com slash cowboys to get started we got big personalities we got big hair big belt buckles we got fans all across this big state and enemies in every other one we even got a big star on the 50 yard line smirnoff knows football is a wee thing an experience that is best enjoyed together with good drinks and good folks home or away we rally together We cry together, and we always rally cry together because, most of all, we got big love for them boys. Smirnoff, we do game days. Please drink responsibly. Back to hanging with the boys. Did you say go? <laughs> go. <laughs> Welcome back to the second segment of Hanging with the Boys, brought to you each and every day by Blockchain.com. Thank you, Blockchain.com. Kurt! Say it. Cowboys Nation! Y'all are Cowboys Nation. Get, get up. Say it. Oh, hey. 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 Get ready for the ultimate game day experience. <laughs> Thanks to 7-Eleven, you can win a VIP experience to the Cowboys versus Bengals showdown on December the 9th. Just text Cowboys VIP to 711 711 for your chance to win premium club tickets, sideline passes, travel, and more. Don't miss out. Enter now. No purchase necessary. Ends on 1120. Must be 18 or older in the USDC. Void where prohibited. Message and data rates may apply. Visit bit.ly slash go 711 711 for full details and non text entry. Thank you, 711. All right. Before we talk football, we were talking in the break about food. Yes. Kurt, what is your favorite dessert of all time? Mm. You know what? I like a good apple pie cold. I was going to say warm. so no. cold. White. I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> no. Old white man. That is so. Are you guys, yeah. he probably, he probably you my boy, but that yeah. was the white. That was Missouri kids. Boy, that was. What do you want? Say. That was gonna have a pie. And, and, then, and then he's probably gonna follow up with the, you know, the ones you go into 7 Eleven and buy in the little package <laughs> just, with the no, ice and all those are good. Pie. Man, that, oh, pine. Pine. Okay. Yeah, well, that one was Kansas pie. City was, slash Missouri. I don't mean to attack you or nothing like that. You better not say no, sweet potato uh, pie. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what you gonna say for the dessert? What you gonna say? That's the side of yeah. Oh, Let okay. a nay say a no. Uh, uh, <laughs> whoa. All right, Jess, so what is it? Please say sweet potato Sweet potato pie. Say <laughs> <laughs> is it no. really? Is that what you were saying? Is that a clip? Is that a clip? Wow. 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 That clip? <laughs> wow. A college uh, game day? Yeah, yeah. That clip? <laughs> yes, let a nay say a no. <laughs> oh. So <laughs> that's not what I thought. <laughs> Uh, but you said we could pick two. So yeah. sweet potato pie and, and red velvet cheesecake. What about you, Nate? Oh, uh, my Aunt Mildred's uh, coconut cake. Bless ooh. her heart. She's gone, so I don't eat coconut cake anymore. No? That was my favorite, yes. Uh. <laughs> but you, Chris? It. That's it for me. 
Um, tiramisu. That's not bad. Well, what, like, what 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 did he say? Tiramisu. Tiramisu. Hmm. You can't have money. I'm lost. I'm that, lost. That, what, what is it? Tell me what it it's is. It's like it's like. You get a, an Italian place. Right? Oh, okay, like, yeah, okay, you know, okay. The, you know, it has like the coffee layers. on top. Right, it, yeah, right. that, I like that. That's Sounds fancy. I got like not fancy. Five now that I thought yeah. about it. Banana, good banana pudding. Oh yeah, yeah. Trace mm-hmm. leches. I don't eat it very much, but that's good. Mm-hmm. But key lime or mm-hmm. or uh, strawberry pie. Or strawberry, strawberry pie. Mm-hmm. Strawberry. Huh? Mm-hmm. You ever had strawberry pie with the crust? Brahms butter peak. Butter pecan, mm-hmm. butter peanut, whatever. Butter, 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 butter cake's good. Pound cake. All right, let's go to football. All right, we're bad web, white and black on this side. <laughs> we're just we stuck. We stuck to our roots. You talking about yeah. coconut? You talking about key lime? Well, coconut. Chris back in the Chris well, back in the well, Chris well, back. Well, well, yeah. We're you, so the black and white. Like over. literally, we're black and white over here. Okay. They would. They would. Uh, every year at camp, did they do it this year, Chris? They would make. Uh, you know, Dak's birthday every year is at training camp in the. The cooks at the hotel where we stay, they'd make his favorite cake is tres leches, which is the, what is it? Man, they milk they, and stuff. They crack down yeah. on all the sweets yeah. in the training camp now. They yeah. got the nutritionists oh, really? over there. Uh, they crack down. Really? Man. No, uh, really? Man. They threw, I was, they threw him a power bar. They, they, <laughs> they, they bring the chef from the star here out there. So yeah, he does yeah. all the stuff. Man, uh, this. It, it different. That's They're true. like Shannon going. Let's do something. That was the highlight of camp after all that rice pilaf. No, 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 no. First of all, there is rice pilaf every night. <laughs> Just Still? letting you know. Yes. <laughs> wow. Some things don't change, huh? Does not change. They took away rice all the sweets. Pilaf. They took all the sweets every away. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we touched on it briefly earlier this week when we did our applause thing on on Monday. But but Mozzie, right? The, the effort was there. The physicality was there. He showed up this week. Now that he's shown that he can, he physically can do it. How do you keep that going? If you're him, he has to want to keep it going. Mm-hmm. He is the one that uh, showed the lack of interest. Now he's shown some interest. Now, now you may have to find out what that interest was that got him going, so we can duplicate that. Somebody they p- can piss him off that. before the game. Yeah, somebody uh, duplicate it, but he had... <laughs> his name called him soft, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Marcus Spears. Marcus Spears, Marcus yeah, Spears so, called him soft. So he, this is up to him. The, we know it's a mental thing with him. It ain't a physical thing. It's, it's up to him whether he wants to be dominant or not. Once, I want to be once competitive. Once you do it, no matter the position, but once you do it as a, as a player and you realize – you haven't had success, and then you have some success, and you go, I can do this. Is that sometimes a little bit of something you need to – because the game's a lot – it's a lot of physical, Confidence is everything. Confidence Even is Even on everything. defensive line. You, think, you hear that all the everything. time with DBs and, and Confidence stuff, right? is in life. Yeah. yeah. In life. Mm-hmm. Good point. In life. And – you see, an ugly dude with a, with a really good looking woman. You know, one, got a lot one of money. three things. He got a lot of money. Money, really confident, or he got a lot of great money. personality. No, <laughs> he has a lot of money. One thing. <laughs> Ask Terrell Suggs and San Cassell. Um, <laughs> but boy, that ain't a pretty sight either. Man, <laughs> they got some pretty women, boy. I do, but they got some pretty women. Um, it's all about confidence, right? For him, it's. I, I joked about it, and I said I would play this on loop for him all week. Like, I, it would be the highlight reel. Like, mm-hmm. I would I would have went down there, shout out to my boy Sam in the video room, and I would have said, Sam, cut these plays up. Put it on an MP3. Put it on whatever. We're going to send it to Mozzie, and I want him to watch it Remind every him that he can single do this. day. Mm-hmm. Build when, him up. when he come in the meeting room, I want it to be playing in here. Right, I want I want to give it to him on on Friday, on Saturday night. I want him to see. I want him to fall asleep with these plays playing in his head, and saying that is in you. Continue to let this thrive and flourish on the football field. So I think he's got you know, and you heard all the reports, you know, um, you know, in the locker room. He's been he's been on cloud nine. He's been smiling like. Everyone else has been doom and gloom, and we got to get better. Mozzie's been over here like, the hell what y'all talking about? I had the best 25 plays of my life. <laughs> and you want to somehow, some way, continue to keep that. You want to you you keep throwing kerosene 
on that small little amber that's burning a little bit of a flame. I want to kerosene that thing, mm. and hopefully that it ignites because it's in there. I I now have to, uh, you know, Coach Z. I gotta keep I gotta keep flaming that fire. I gotta keep flaming that fire and hope it never blows out. Mm. Said, right. What's that line gonna be like this week? They. They're not that good, are they? They're not as good. Who is they're, that? They're dealing the with some injuries. Line. Oh. They're dealing with some injuries. Uh, I mean, the guy that he's facing the center is not that good. Mm. He's okay. Um, but they're looking at they're looking at these guys and saying, "Yeah, I know what you did last week, but I also got twenty other games that said what you did before too." Mm. All right, don't like the the Baltimore game didn't go away. The Saints game <laughs> didn't go away. Yeah. Th- those games didn't go. You know, you go back to last year, a couple of those games. The 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 the, the the uh, the the Buffalo game, the the Green Bay game, those games we still got. You know, those are still on all twenty two. We still got those too. Uh, and while the while the Cowboys are looking for a way, this team is going to fight too. Like they're looking at the Cowboys, like you know, the run game hasn't been the best for Pittsburgh. Now they commit to it. They're 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 yeah, averaging they under th- under under four yards uh, a carry. And they're trying to get that what, thing going. Twenty-five to thirty-five carries a game. Yeah, and they're trying and they're trying to get to it. It hasn't been all the way success, but they look at the Cowboys like, you know how we talk about, hey, yeah. Right Aid, Walgreens, <laughs> CVS, just what the doctors prescribed. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like we're, we're they they saw how King Henry and Lamar and that RPO and how that how that worked for them, and they got they got similar guys, not as good as those guys, no, but similar in that style. So. For Mozzie, it's and from I also look at this as Mozzie is saying, you know what? There is expectation on me. I was a first round pick. We're down our two biggest guys on defense. This would be a great time for me to step up. I I I'd win over a lot of people that in this moment I stepped up and played as big or bigger. Because you might have to play bigger than you played last week because of the absence of Micah and Tank. That will go a long way. A country mile long way if he came out and, and showed what he showed last week and even better this week and helped his defense out. Be the hero here. Yeah. yeah. By the way, uh, Pittsburgh's offensive line, PFF ranks them, you know how we like PFF on this show, <laughs> ranks them 20th and the run game average is 1.7 yards before contact tied for 28th in the league. All right, secondary talk. I'm going to throw out some numbers here. Thank you for providing these, Kurt. Um, safety at the safety position. And keep in mind, there's still 32 teams in the NFL, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay. Donovan Wilson is our highest, according to PFF, Donovan Wilson is our highest ranked safety. Stop. That sentence alone tells you right now whatever's getting ready to come after that ain't good. Ain't good. <laughs> I'm just telling you, if Donovan Wilson is – the leading safety on this team, I, 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 whatever comes out your mouth next is not going to be good. <laughs> Proceed. Well, considering there's only what there's usually two safeties on the field at any given time, and there's only 32 teams, yeah. that would be 64 Four. safeties. There we go. There we go. Trailer Park. That's that Louisiana <laughs> math. He's ranked 50th, mm. and he's our highest ranked safety. Mm. Uh, Hooker is ranked 65th. Mm. Let's flip over to cornerbacks. Uh, Jordan Lewis is the highest ranked cornerback on the team at 39, 39th in the league. Diggs is ranked 83rd, and the team is 26th in yards allowed per catch at 11.8. That's is that all because of no pass the, rush, no pass rush, right? Mm. Defensive line, and it's those guys just way too much time to to cover anybody. Mm-hmm. It's it's not your personnel because this is the same group basically that you had last year that you know last two years that was outstanding, right? So that's all predicated on the major- a lot of it is not all of it, but a lot of it is. It's, it's just <clears throat> you know great. Um, you know I don't know how you broke down Mozzie or what to say. What's the word proper word? A great way you broke down Mozzie and but it it, it all gonna come back to Neyland, Mozzie, uh, you know, the new guy, KJ, whoever, Henry. And it's just it's gonna come back down to the D line. Manufacturing something and that and in pass rush situations, you can't even you, you can't even run games and stunts because this kid will take off. So you can't 
you know, shoot down with your, with your two ends and let your tackles loop out. They ain't fast. They loop out. That kid take right on off to the outside. Mozzie ain't going to run him down. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Golston ain't going to run him down. So you, you, you got to come up this field like an umbrella, you know, same with the run. You just got to can't – you can't let them break ranks on you. If it's any crease or any crack, uh, Najee and this guy going uh, – Phil's going to hurt us, man. It's, it's one of these games where you're going to have to try – Dak going to have to try with everything in his power to hold us into this game. Dak going to have to do everything in his power. Change, make sure we're in the right play. Uh, take take everything that they give you. Receivers can't drop balls. Uh, Fergie gonna have to have the game of his life. Jason Fergie's gonna have the game of his life. When you run up in there, uh, run up in there with some power, with some force. Do not get not one tackle for loss. Even if you just gain one yard and get back to the line of scrimmage, you walk up to the line of scrimmage. Let Dak survey what's going on. Let him call it. One second. I mean, three seconds, two seconds. <laughs> snap the ball. <laughs> Anything you can to keep them off the field because our defense is hurting. So anything that will keep our defense off the field, you got to do. Time of possession is huge. Uh, yeah. Our best defense will be our offense. Yes. Yeah. That, eat, that, eat that clock up and then end with touchdowns. Yes. Mm-hmm. End with touchdowns. Make Pittsburgh now have to play the game that they don't want to play. play. Thank you. They don't want to play this score for score game. They don't want Justin Fields in that in that type of a battle. They they want to they they they'll they'll be okay with the 17 20 point game. That that's where they live. They they want to live in that area. 17 to 21 points. They feel like we can compete in that area. If 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 we can force them to get into that 20 Four ish, seven, eight. If we get to the thirties, oh, we'll see Russell. We cooking <laughs> in. If we can get into that game, they don't want to play that game. We'll see. Russell. But if you leave it in that area of 15, 17, 19, 20 points, they want to live in that area. All right, let's take our last break. When we come back, more Steelers offensive talk on hanging with the boys. Be right back. I got. How's Wingstop sound? Crispy, juicy, classic wings. Sauced and tossed in those 11 soul-satisfying flavors. Paired with hand-cut seasoned fries, house-made honey mustard, blue cheese, or signature Wingstop ranch. I think you've heard enough. Get your flavor delivered at Wingstop.com. This is Nate Newton from Hanging with the Boys. And Wingstop is here to bring the flavor to game day as the official wings of the Dallas Cowboys. Order now by downloading the Wingstop app or ordering online at Wingstop.com. Hey, Cowboys. Cowboy fans, I'm Dak Prescott, quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. But lately, I've been learning a new game, crypto. Sound confusing? Don't worry. Even us pros were rookies in crypto once. That's why I trust Blockchain.com. They make crypto easy. No confusing jargon, just the tools to help you win. Prescott keeps it, slides with a first down. Invest like your icons, where everyone is a rookie in crypto with Blockchain.com. Perfect throw, my goodness. Wow, did he ever thread the needle. Visit Blockchain.com slash Cowboys to get started. Fall is here, and that means football is back, bringing all the delicious game day foods with it. As you prep for all the big games, tailgates, and watch parties, let Yokiero be your one-stop destination for all things home gating. Yokiero's fresh, flavorful, ready-to-serve guacamole made with real Hass avocados will score taste bud touchdowns as you cheer on the Cowboys. Yokiero's wide range of mouth-watering and versatile products can be found in your local grocery store's produce or deli section. Grab some today. Hey, Cowboys fans, a 2024 football season is here, and SeatGeek is here to help you experience all the action. SeatGeek makes it easy to find tickets so you can be a part of all the touchdown celebrations this season. Whether you're buying or selling tickets to Cowboys football games or to any other live event, SeatGeek is the place to do it. SeatGeek is the official primary ticketing partner of the Dallas Cowboys. The most disruptive idea in ticketing? A ticket that works. Expect the expected. SeatGeek. Back to hanging with the boys. 
45. Welcome back to the final segment of Hanging with the Boys, brought to you each and every day by Jigsaw, the proud dating partner of the Dallas Cowboys. Kurt, you were throwing out some scores, previous scores of the Steelers, and, and Jesse was right on the money. Yeah, he was saying they like to live in that what, 15, 20 point zone, and they're three wins. It's been scores of 18 to 10, 13 to 6, and 20 to 10. Their one loss last week to the Colts was they lost 27-24. So, yeah, he's right. They like to keep it low scoring and grind it out. The, the, the thing, and, and they love it, man. You, you, if you watch them when they play, you watch them on film, uh, no heads drop when they have to punt. They, you know, you, know, you kind of walk the field sometimes like you're defeated. Mm. You know, they'll go three punts, three, three and out, three and out there, and they'll walk off the field. You know, Mike, mm. Kaplan, Mike, uh, Mike Tomlin doing the, the Jason Garrett. Everything's all right. We still up under ten points here. Yeah. <laughs> How long have they got that defense going? Yeah. And they run a they run a lot. Uh, they're tied for first in rushing attempts, but they're twenty fifth in overall yards per carry at three point seven. And then PFF has Najee Harris ranked as the forty sixth running back. So and they're gonna keep slamming him up yeah. in them, my man. They're gonna Try run it. You just hopefully they don't have a lot of a lot of success with that. And something, uh, something, something I thought about yesterday and was going to bring up on the show, and I forgot. We all did our picks before the season, right? Right. And you know that's all iffy on on injuries. Very rarely do you have two of your superstars go down on one side of the ball, right? Mm-hmm. We're not going to redo picks, but the guaranteed games that you had on the schedule this year, there's really the rest of the season. There's Maybe one guaranteed game. Listen <laughs> to this. Two. I don't know. Two. I don't know what the red rifle throwing that ball in Carolina. <laughs> no. You 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 might be okay. Listen to this. At the Steelers, Lions, you're gonna be an underdog at home. At San Fran, you're gonna be an underdog. At Atlanta, coin flip, probably. Probably right? be an underdog. Eagles, Texans, Commanders are looking pretty solid. Yeah. Giants, that's one. That's one. Bengals at the should Panthers. Get that. That's two. Should get that. I don't, you should. You get the Panthers. Should get the They're Bengals not as terrible Panthers. as they were, though. They're terrible. It's not guaranteed. I don't think it's guaranteed. <laughs> the Buccaneers, solid. Mm. Eagles and Commanders. So, realistically, with these injuries, you yeah. could win five games or less this year. Mm. Yeah, they're it's they're entering the toughest part of their schedule. I mean, it, it it sure would be nice to get a win this week because those next few games are. But well, let me even add. Let me let me throw a little bit more salt on the, the Cowboys' wounds. From this, don't, don't make it impossible to find <laughs> Santa Claus today, please. From this point forward, when you talk about the strength of schedule, oh God, the Cowboys have toughest the fourth, fourth. toughest mm. strength of schedule. Number one is Cleveland. Number two is the Bears. Number three are the Giants. Number four are the Cowboys. And when you're talking about winning the division, right, because that's all important, yeah. take a wild guess who has the least difficult schedule remaining for Washington. Yeah, I guess Washington. Philly. Philadelphia. Really? really? Mm. They are 32nd in the league. Wow. The easiest schedule the Easiest league, huh? schedule going forward. Out. The Philadelphia Eagles have the easiest schedule going. Oh, there you go. Couple but of, this is where y'all had them at the beginning of the year. I mean, this is not no surprise, right? But I think you had a. a yeah. I think you had a, a positive outlook at this point in right. the season. Right now, it's like everybody's hurt. You can't stop the yeah. run. You can't cover anybody. You, you can't score points. And, and we're talking about this being contingent upon no one else getting hurt. Yeah. Right, like, yeah, good point. You know what I'm saying? And like, let me let me knock on wood. Don't want anybody else to get hurt. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, all the, toes, fingers, all everything <laughs> crossed. <laughs> this Kurt, is, no, you cannot say a player's name. You can say a position or a number, but not a name. But you know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's you. You lost two. You lost three players in one game. Actually, mm. you lost Brandon Cooks, Tank, and Micah in one game. Yeah. So. You, you're you're hoping, and this is going to be a physical game. Like, Pittsburgh's going to be another physical game. That's just their brand of football. Mm-hmm. That's just that's just Pittsburgh in general. It's been that way since 
you've been playing football, right? Like before, before Mean Joe Green mm-hmm. in the seventies. It's been just a physical brand, and they're going to try to play that way. They're they're going to try to play that way. Mm-hmm. Um, and then next week, you know what that is. You know, you oh, know yeah. what you know what Man Campbell going to do. Well, he he mad, bite that. your kneecaps. How ah, many man. games do we have left? The teams you wouldn't consider physical. Carolina, Carolina, Giants, maybe. Yeah, Giants, Cincy, Bengals, okay. Cincy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. At least defensively, Washington's so, going to be physical. What are y'all? What, what y'all saying is we got how many games left? This is week five, 12. 12 games left. So just. Since we've spoken on it, out of the blue, give me your numbers. With they final record? Ooh. Yeah, they finished six and six. <laughs> they finished six and out of the ten. Last twelve games. I think yes, six sir. and ten is realistic, or seven, six and eleven. No, no, no. These last games. Last twelve. These last twelve. Oh. These last twelve. Oh, just get what's done past. Two and ten. Since you know you brought it up. Two and ten. Ooh. I think that's realistic. Yeah, yeah. I, I think they'll probably win. F- so you threw Santa Claus. Yeah. Burned him up. So let yeah. the, he lit the chimney. Santa coming down, lit he lit the, the chimney. chimney. <laughs> yeah, God, hey, man. I'll, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt, and I'll say five. A, a positive. Po- this is me being positive right now at this point in the season with the injuries and the way that they have looked offensively. You can't score points. You can kick the hell out of field goals. You can't stop the run. Your coverage is suspect. Five and seven, that's positive. Uh, I was, I was, I'm around four and eight. Yeah, yeah. I'd probably be around five and seven. Um, Realistically, maybe. I'm thinking four. three. Realistically, mm-hmm. but wow. What do you think? You brought you the question. You telling up. this dude here? He's twelve. Not to, don't take away, <laughs> don't take away <laughs> Santa Claus. Give you the fairy godmother. You know, Nate. Even you though the wicked witch of the even, west, bro. No, and if you got kids, turn the radio off. Even though I know they don't exist, I'm still going to look for them. I still want the presents. So I still okay. going to believe. <laughs> so, so Y'all going to be hurt when we win, so big fella, when we win we, nine games. Y'all I hope you're hurt right. Yeah. Nine, nine, nine nine Mark this, Chris. Nine Mark this and bring it back. But I'm yeah. looking at the schedule. There's only three game difference. You know that, right? Three game difference, what do you mean? Philadelphia, from 32, the last of the, the, the – they're 32, mm. we're four, right? There's only three games that are different that we have that they don't. Really? And those three games – Okay, so here we Calls go. Is that much of a swing? Uh, apparently so. Okay. They have to play Cleveland, which we already played. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, we played Detroit, so there's a big swing there. Okay. San Francisco, we play. In Houston, we play. Okay. They play Jacksonville and the Rams are the only other teams that we Rams don't play and they do. Hmm. But I'm what, just saying, just what's your from, from that from that standpoint, there's only like really three games Those that is a swing there. Though. But yeah. I'm just saying, Huge. what's your score? What you what you thinking, bro? At this point, I have no idea. No, 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 no. You're not Nate. Safe, you don't. You don't. Get so that. you don't get that. I don't get Nate that. Nate gets that pass. He won three Super Bowls here. You do not. <laughs> <laughs> you may have won Emmys, oh, but not Super Bowl. And what I just gave you was Elsa 9. 9, <laughs> 10, 11, <laughs> and 12. It was, it was, y'all know, man, my eyes ain't telling me what I just said. <laughs> it was Elsa 5 for me. Yeah. <laughs> what do well, you think, Chris? How many more wins we have? Yeah. Um, I'm going to stick with, I'm going to go with seven. Total? Yeah. Or seven from here on out? Seven. Seven so you got five. Seven five. So seven. seven. Five. So you're going seven and five. Yeah. What jazz rolling? That gives us nine wins. Okay. The two two teams different going the rest of the way that the commanders have to play are Chicago and Tennessee. Mm. So they're probably yeah, Chicago and Tennessee. Too. Yeah. You know, the, the thing, the good thing about this is – I'm glad all our young guys are getting to play this year. Yeah. So we get some from the Jets. Excuse me. So <laughs> <laughs> I like when he do that. Excuse me. <laughs> but uh, the good thing is these guys getting to play. Getting reps. Like, like Tober and Jesse, been, he's been secretly just saying, Nate, I like him. I don't want to crush him. I don't want to crush him. He's getting a chance to play, and I am so happy. I, Whenever I see young guys get a chance to play, that like when next year comes. Oh, don't do this. 
Don't do that. Don't do that. These guys have experience. They just have experience. Week four. No, no, no. They didn't experience. Whole new coaching staff. Whole new everything. No, 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 no. No, we we gonna have the same coaches, bro. I would talk to the man upstairs. Jesus. Yes, sir. I went right over Jerry. I'm like Jerry. Help Jerry. Help Jerry. You flew him in on the helicopter. Real quick, anybody outside of. Pickens, where are you on their offense? They got a pretty good tight end, right? The tight end, he could he Friar could be mouth, a big tight end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he could be. He, he could he could. I mean, he's no. How can I put it? He doesn't worry me in the sense of Travis he's a, Kelsey. He's a possession guy. You know what I mean? Like, but he'll be a guy. Big body. When you think you're about to get off the field, he'll find him. And see, like the thing that about, type of. Yeah. It's it's third and seven. He'll be right there at six yeah. yards. They just fall. Yeah, that that's kind yeah. of part. You be like, yeah. oh. he's not breaking yeah. anything. No, but he's, no, no, he's not. He's Whitnish in the later years. Of yes, Whitten. he's yes, he's very he's very Whitnish. Yeah, Whitnish. Yes. Yeah, eight yards and knows fall. where to be. Knows how to turn. <laughs> turn and fall. Yeah, with a thud. Wow. Hey right. man, we gotta get we gotta come together, man. On this hill, man, we got we gotta pray for the Cowboys. <laughs> 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 what do we want to do tomorrow? Calls. Oh, oh so we're to go back to what the phone. All right, Chris. Why are you looking at me uh, now? Uh, uh, we go on to these calls. Chris, but, are you here tomorrow? Yeah, of course I'm here tomorrow. Let's go back. Jazz, Jazz, right. Jazz ain't going to scream them right. What do you mean, of course? Jazz ain't going to scream them right. What do you mean, of course you're here tomorrow? You weren't here on Monday. I'm 90% of the time I'm here. And you know, and so who are you going to ref this time? I'm not. That's foul. Man, I <laughs> usually when Chris is going, it's something is behind the scenes that's going to come out right. in about yeah. three months. Yeah. What's, what's brewing? What, what's brewing, bro? I remember Coach the last came time in this happened. What was the last time? The, the last Netflix. time Coach came on a helicopter. We had we to go shoot something with Jerry. We couldn't tell y'all, right? Yeah, yeah. Did a Netflix yeah. special. Yeah. Last time I disappeared for a year, so y'all better watch out. <laughs> hey, <laughs> good to see you, Jesse. Good, see you, Jesse. Good, good show, Chris. Thanks for Why keeping you us on the air. Why you looking at <laughs> Josh, Josh, thanks for keeping Chris company. We'll be back tomorrow. Phone calls. Marifow. Marifow. 5 Call us. Wingstop Call tomorrow. Him. Don't forget, Jesse. I got you. Right. We out. This has been a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about this, Cowboys? Yeah!